carry that. <laughs> here in uh, England, uh, down here in Kent, we had 80 mile an hour winds, and uh, it was interesting. Um, so today, in 30 to 40 mile an hour winds, Mrs. H and I are out here at a bottle dump. And uh, mostly right now it's 1940s, 1950s. And the reason I know it's 1940s is because I did find at least one, I found one naffy plate base out here. And we got a couple of complete bottles, but we know the 20th century. And uh, for all of you back there in the States, yeah, they're all slick right now. Um, bunch of pottery though I mean colors are just unbelievable as to what we're finding so I mean if you're a decorative or artsy fartsy type that could take all these pieces of pottery and make collages and all that stuff and glue it back together uh, this would you'd be in hog heaven right now so anyway I'm digging a hole like I said I pulled out a bunch of broken stuff a couple of complete bottles I do have a complete bottle down here and uh, I'll dig it out and we'll see what it is I suspect it's going to be a slick, but uh, there's only one way to find out, right? That's right. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so the bottle's out. It's actually the same as that brown one down there by Mrs. H, it looks like. It does have part of the sticker still on it. Paper sticker. I see Colt label or cold label. B-U-R. That's about all I can read. But yeah, as you see, the seam mark goes all the way up to the uh, up to the uh, lip. So it's 20th century. Nothing on the bottom. Still, you know, it just proves there's stuff in here. We just got to get deep enough to where we start getting to the older stuff. Oh, anyway, we'll keep digging. And uh, oh, that's nice. Just found a little uh, cork, probably medicine bottle of some type. Very nice. Well done. All right, we'll get back with you. Okay, we took a few more bottles out of there, paste bottles, like I said. But Mrs. H has got a bottle right here. What's it say on it? It says London. It does it say London? Right there. Okay, brilliant. You got another bottle next to it, too. I know, I'm being very careful. Okay. Just She's almost being like an archaeologist. I am an archaeologist. I think you probably pull it out now, I straight. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yep, it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I had a broken end. Dang it. What's it say though? Can't read it. Booths. Yeah, let me see. I can't read it from Distillery. Here. Booths Distillery London, London Limited, yeah. So, gin? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, let me have a look. Next to it? Let me have a look at that real quick. Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, broken. Embossed bottle. <laughs> I'm on the board. She's on the board. There's a bee on the bottom. Woohoo! Now, of course, I don't know how the heck you would cut this to make this into a vase, but that would be kind of cool, I think. And little babies. Oh, and lots of little baby bottles, too. A couple of cork tops. That's heavy. Like. Oh, yeah. That might be a little bit older then. Let's see. Is there a seam on it? Uh, seam ends before the next so that one's a little that's probably 1890s or so okay cool well done thank you you're on the board all right i don't know how the heck we cut this you'd have to cut it with a with a tile saw to make that into a vase that would be kind of cool though all right so i just dug a bottle out snapped the neck off as i was digging it out but that's what happens like a dummy but in the hole that it just came out of mrs h saw this and she has Four out of the five 303 bullets, that, bullets or cases, yeah, bullets that would have gone in this stripper clip. Now, I was in the Army Cadet Force many, many years ago. I would have used these. In fact, I've got stripper clips for the, uh, I've got a uh, 308, a Lee Enfield uh, Mark III, or number three, Mark III. Uh, Indian Ishapur in 308 and I've still got stripper clips for those bullets. That's brilliant. Good find there, Mrs. H. Yeah, oh, yes. That's good. Very good. Well done. Thank you. So Mrs. H 
it's just dug a part of a wedgewood plate again it's got a back mark on it so it's actually the second one we've got with a back mark right there and i think i've got a plate cut i got a thing cutter back at the house so i'll cut these out but i just dug a uh my first uh, basket weave uh, clay pipe. That's brilliant. Would you agree? Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, should we keep digging? Okay, let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. All right, we'll get back to you in a little bit. So, oh, um, just found a local uh, piece of milk glass, milk ball glass. Actually, has the town right there, Kingsdown. It's a local uh, village in the area. So that's kind of cool. I'm in another area where people have dug before so I'm going down and working in to see uh, it looks like they just went straight down and you got this pile that they threw up here uh, we found a few more pieces that have got a, a piece of pottery in China that have got the base on the um, what's the word I'm looking for the makers mark on the bottom so we'll be taking those back but we'll keep digging along I mean it's just an adventure right so I appreciate you coming along we'll get back with you in a little bit so we're still in the same bottle dump. Um, Mrs. H's feet got cold, so she went home. Uh, she took back some of those uh, uh, plate bottoms that got the uh, markings on. I just found another one. Like I said, this is a World War II site. It's got George Regina for George VI, Wedgwood, and Colton 1943. There's another piece that I found, it's got a date on it too. So I'm gonna cut those out. I think they're kind of cool. Interesting round bowl. Does have writing on the bottom. Britain, made in Britain. Interesting thing, it's not been dug out. It's still packed full of dirt. Uh, interesting note for uh, those across the pond back in the States. Marmite and Bovril. You've probably seen Marmite. But their bottles are all over here. There's another one just over there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like they breed here. Um, nice uh, cork bottle. Multi-sided. Oh, it's got something on it. Usol. Looks like that was scratched in there by whoever had the bottle. And these are paste. I don't remember these are paste bottles, but you know, like mini hand grenades, PEX, fish paste. So that's interesting too. I think it's interesting. I mean, 70 years ago, it was long before I was a twinkle in my dad's eye or whatever, but that's cool. I'm gonna take that home with me. I'm still digging. Uh, I'm digging down. I'm in a hole that was already dug, like I said before, but they obviously didn't go that deep because I got bottles here now. In the bottom, looks like I at least got one whiskey, I think. It's probably gonna be slick. And um, more of these brown and paste bottles. And see what we got here. That's a, yeah, these are these are all slick. Screw top, just right over there. Plain bottle, a lot of paste bottles, a lot of paste bottles. So, but we'll see what this is. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out right now. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, oh, yeah, it's coming out. Oh, there's more glass in there. I just heard it uh, Just up against another glass bottle Slick nothing on it Still nice color though So I'll just throw that over there for now, but I'll keep digging See if I find anything else and I'll get back with you Okay, I just dug another booths distillery London like I said, none of these are that old, but it's still kind of cool to dig one of these. Looks like it's in good nick. So I'll probably take this one back with me. Well, the uh, Hooli is starting to blow again. It's rained on me twice. I've been digging, I don't know, I've probably moved a cubic yard of dirt pulling bottles out, throwing them over there. But I just pulled this out. This is the most complete one I found. Groom Bridge, Upper Farm Dairy, Kingsdown. Like I said, this comes from a village close by. 
it's broken but I should be able to cut that and uh, make a beaker out of it or something for you know pens or something like that probably end up taking it back to the States with me cut it and then bring it back for my uh, mom or something like that so but that's cool I'm happy with that hopefully we can find some more maybe some complete ones oh ah. all right so big bottle just came out big old wine bottle again 20th century the bottom says VE now my question is is that victory in Europe <laughs> it is the 75th anniversary this year of the end of the war in Europe May 8th I believe or was it 9th 8th and 9th I think it's the 9th so VE kind of an appropriate bottle to find on a day like this this year so yeah I might keep that one just because it says that on the bottle there's another bottle sitting right there I'm gonna guess it's probably a paste bottle let's see uh, it's some sort of something you can just make out the uh, label on it these labels were applied they rub right off now uh, on the bottom it's got and two backwards F's and an M, so MF, FMF, oh, Fleet Marine Force. Must be Marine Corps. Ha! I guess not. Anyway, that's gonna go with the pile back here. I just pulled this out. Nice big old champagne bottle. Interesting uh, divot. I haven't seen one like that before, but obviously being over here in the UK, we wouldn't expect to see the same things as we see in the States. So oh, this is turning out to be rather interesting. British made. No idea. Anyway, I'm gonna keep uh, rummaging route through here. I believe there's another paste bottle. These are just everywhere. I tell you right now, if any if you got anybody who uh, does watercolors <laughs> and they need some paste bottles, let me know. Because there are oodles of them. Now that's an interesting piece of pottery right there. Wow. Nice. Okay, I just pulled out a Boots the Chemist. <laughs> so, there you go. Brilliant. That's a fun bottle right there. Not that collectible, I'm sure, but you know what? That's cool. There's a kid going to Boots all the time for medicines and stuff like that. I'll take that. I just pulled this bugger out. And I got no way. Oh, hang on. It's got stuff on the bottom there. Hold tight. I'll get back with you. Okay, it says flag brand. Obviously, before my time, I got no idea. I'll have to look this up. Interesting. I'll probably leave it here though. Oh. My legs are just thrashed, I tell you. What a workout. I need it though. I haven't walked too much the last couple of days. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Well, it's getting late and I'm hungry. Plus I could do with a beer. So, found a couple more. Uh, uh, they're 20th century whiskeys, slicks. They find that nice pot right there this crack hole in the bottom they find this cup again it's got a date 1942 on it they find another one of those partial milk bottles right there and uh, probably the most interesting glass I found though it's probably this one look at the iridescence on that that is just beautiful it does have a seam and the seam goes up yeah, all the way up to there. So that's 20th century, but my goodness, that's going to look beautiful when it's cleaned up. So uh, I think I might be calling it here. Mosey back to the house, clean some stuff up, and then I'll do a video showing the bottles which I kept and what have you, and the, the back marks of all the pottery that I'm going to extract from the pieces. So anyway, uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya. Bye.